Welcome everyone, Christine here on Serious Gaming with my Let's Play of the Early Access version of Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, made by the same people that made Ultimate General Gettysburg and Ultimate General Civil War. So the gameplay, ground-based gameplay, is going to be very similar to that. Anyway, so I fought for the first mission. There's nothing, anything too particularly interesting in that. The only thing that matters is you want to capture the first two enemy ships. Now I did that, one of them I've already sent to the Admiralty. The other one I will add to my fleet because it's a better ship than what I have available, what I start with. And I'm going to take Horatio Nelson, dismiss him from the HMS Ferret and put him on the Mercedes as its captain because it's going to be a better ship. And then I'll give him a sub-lieutenant uh, to work with uh, someone focused on shooting the guns. And then let's go with an optimal and go with a sea service and a 38 and musket. Okay. It's got six, uh, 10 six-pounders, 18 nine-pounders. So it's considerably better than a HMS ferret. Now... I am also going to upgrade the transport ship, going to give it a proper captain and improve the number of fusiliers on it to 150 each. This is because I'm going to use it to board the enemy ships or try to. You can win the battle with just the Mercedes um, if you capture it, use it. So, all right. And that's really all I need. In terms of upgrades, I've gone with uh, mission rewards. That's going to be the most important. Horatio Nelson, difficulty normal. Okay, let's begin. It's March 1780. All right. So, going to go with the Mercedes and with the Astarte as a, a transport ship and we're going to try and board them. Captain, we have arrived in the designated area without trouble. What we're looking for is a supply ship that contains the army's and fleet's supply. Okay. A Spanish squadron has been sighted. It's our merchantman, the Walpole, under a Spanish flag along with a small escort. They're attempting to reach the cover of the guns at a nearby outpost. We are moving to intercept them under full sail. The enemy is screening the merchantman to allow it to escape. We must take her back. And we will. Alright. So. We need to take out the San Juan Batista. Though I will also aim to take on to the San Santa Rita. Now, the wind is blowing in that direction. All right, let's uh, drop anchor here. Actually, I'll just switch the battle sail mode. Wait, I can't. What the? All right, that's weird. Interesting. Wait, did he get hit?
Now, they've got an outpost there. It's got four cannons that I may or may not wish to take control over. The thing that I am interested in right now is to capture these uh, ships. Alright. So let's try and do that. All right, I only lost 120 crew, they lost 256, and I captured the Walpole and their two ships of their squadron. That didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. I would have vastly preferred if the Marines had done a bigger share of the fighting there and I had lost um, less troops, but that's all fine. So, it took some damage. It needs a crew replenishment. That's, that's perfectly fine. Okay, out of these two... I'll uh, send the San, uh, Santa Rita to the Admiralty, and I think I'll keep it, I'll keep the other one. But uh, for now, I'm just going to get some Marines, okay, I'm gonna go to Nelson, good. They'll need better leaders, but that's something I can worry about later. So that's the first mission, and I got 5,400 money, pounds, six prestige, one experience. All right, let me just save, Q, all right, save, overwrite, thank you. All right, and uh, end this particular period. So we get, you're apparelled. This morning, the surgeon informed me that the woman on board has been laboring in childbirth for 12 hours. If I ordered the broadside to be fired leeward, uh, nature would be assisted by the shock. I com compiled uh, with a request and she gave birth to a fine, healthy boy. Also, I have asked Jeremy Knox, my boatswain, to ensure that the admiralty restrictions against women to be observed henceforth. Now, the reason I'm buying it is so I can get troops on it. So, Marines, all that kind of stuff. Marines, which I have just unlocked, will, uh, will be used in that. 
I have, uh, let's see how many do I have in my armory. I'd rather use the guns in my armory than anything else. All right, so I have 297, 130. Okay, I'll, I'll deploy 131 that I have in my armory with a competent commander, if, I, if there is anything like that. All right, gonna need to sell some, some things here. All right, some of those Spanish guns should be reasonable enough. Some trade muskets, as well as some sea services. Let's say about, yeah, I don't need a lot of money, but I do want to get these troops properly sorted out because they don't have an officer. All right, that will be uh, sufficient. All right, so I've got four ships for four units. What I'm going to do, save, okay. And I'm going to send the Mercedes and the Ferret to deal with that. Meanwhile, over here, we have a mission called Snakes and Powder from Saturday, April 15th, 1780, with a reward of 32,400, six reputation and one uh, career point. So, near Santa Cruz. Unfortunately, the army is involved in the largest battle since the conquistadors arrived from Spain. They are, desperate, uh, they are in desperate need of men and supplies. Reluctantly, the Admiral um, 
ordered my task force to land and join the fighting around Santa Cruz. The mission was simple. A the regiment from Major General Francis Smith Army of Jamaica to capture the remaining stolen surprise from the HMS Walpole. It is of vital importance that we succeed or else the entire campaign may be at risk. Now, truthfully, here you can bring four, uh, uh, four units. Or rather, four <laughs> units from four ships, but that's, uh, that's going to be a different thing. It, it doesn't matter anyway, because I am bringing four units. All right, let's go. Lead the advance guard and reconnoiter the ground ahead. The main force and rear guard will follow shortly. Your objective is to advance to the last known position of our task force and recover said task force. Advance cautiously, we cannot afford to lose contact with any more of our forces. And yes, do advance cautiously because there's quite a few enemy units and they'll be attacking from multiple directions. So if you get flanked, you're gonna be your troops are going to be at risk. So there are some units beyond that fort. I'm gonna send some guys also through the forest. I hear units. Hold on. Yeah. Polish, Spanish, you're dealing with the red coats. All right, so they have been beaten back soundly over there. Going to send more men forward. All right, reinforcements. The main force has arrived. Quite a few men, isn't it?
All right, we have advanced. We've taken minimal losses so far. Taken prisoners. And now let's take the rest of them out. I'm actually going to rest them a bit before I take the point here. Alright, the artillery really needs to rest, so I'll just release the crew. I think they rest a bit faster there, like that. The prisoners of war. Let's move the supply wagon to make sure they all have a bunch of supplies. They do, they do, they do. Okay.
Alright, the camp was found abandoned. Our men are either dead or have been captured by the Spaniards. Our scouts have reported that the Spanish are sending reinforcements. It seems those supplies were bait uh, to, draw, to lure us away from the main force around Santa Cruz. Yet those supplies are in dire need and all there is to be done is to hold our position. The Spanish attack is imminent. We must hold our ground and repel the attackers. Our rear guard is delayed. Let's hope that they have not lost their way in the bad weather and will soon arrive. God be with us. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll just drop the supplies for a moment. Send these guys. There we go. So the artillery is actually moving.
All right, they're breaking over there. What about these guys? How many more Spanish could there be? <laughs> Just sending them. I'm gonna stop these guys. Stop these guys as well. They're better quality, I assume, than the Spanish. And I'm making that as a, an assumption. A working assumption. Alright, the battle is effectively over, I feel. Right. Their battalions are completely shattered.
okay. I had 800 men, they had seven, 1,700. That's, uh, uh, yeah, so I was quite uh, outnumbered over there by the Spanish. Uh, I got Nicholas Walsh to be promoted. We captured, well, we rescued 100 um, land patterns, 64 sea service, captured 650, captured 4,000. <laughs> yeah, the supply wagons really paid off, didn't they? We captured the tr mother load of supplies, didn't we? Now let's see if our naval, uh, if our navy was as successful. Okay. Well, isn't that unfortunate? So I guess you. The side missions are the last thing you do, or what? All right, right. I was afraid that would happen. All right. So what options do I have? Well, I can redo the mission, I suppose. Can't I? Guess we'll see. Or I could do the crazy thing, which is to try and board the enemy frigates, because the next mission is going to be against enemy frigates. Give them firearms and reload. Marksman training for these boys. He leveled up, okay. Alright, anyway, regardless of what I have to do, Questine here signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for more. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and enable notifications.